Hello, TFR Wilderness here. KTRT review time again. I'm sorry it was a bit late. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, my KTRTs came in, uh, was it last week? Um, but uh, I didn't review them right away. But the reason being is because both of the KTRTs I've got this month have you know, their triple changes. Well, one of them's actually a bit more than that. And uh, I didn't fancy doing my usual style of uh, thumbnail that I do for the video because that involves taking photographs of the, the, the various modes of the character in some sort of pose and then I have to bring it into the computer and spend, you know, like best part of half an hour, 45 minutes photoshopping them to blot out the background and turn it white and then uh, I make my uh, my usual thumbnails. So you'll probably notice this video has got a slightly different thumbnail. It's just like a lazy ass thumbnail where I just took a picture of the box front and put the text down one side. And uh, I'm filming these two uh, KTRT reviews back to back. So um, I've got, you know, I've got one and two. So I've got both of them down here. Uh, so I'm going to review them back to back. Uh, I'm going to post one up today, which is uh, Saturday the uh, 18th of uh, May. And uh, I'll do another one next week. And then I'll, you'll see them again at my end of my butthole. Anyway. Uh, that said, let's get on with the review. Um, now, um, I've done that thing which uh, I've done before where I've run out of new things to buy and I've started to look back at older toys from previous toy lines and figures that I've overlooked for one reason or another and I've been picking them up. And this month um, I've bought two figures from my favourite KTRT toy line, uh, Hello Carbots. Now I've not bought anything from Hello Carbots for a while because Hello Carbots, you know, towards the you know the first couple of seasons that they, they were doing these really cool, you know, sort of scale model car, you know, transforming figures, you know, that, that were like big, you know, like one twentieth, one twenty second scale versions of real world cars. And then they I, I just probably decided well they, they were they were fully licensed Hyundai uh, you know vehicles, but then they decided to start making made up vehicles and then they started bringing you know like gimmick toys like crash combiners and one step changers and all that that nonsense and they just went totally off the boil and uh, this figure i've got today to, to review is one such figure now when i first saw the designs for this guy i think i saw the toy the, the the toys come out first and when i saw him i thought hang on a minute he looks very familiar he looks like another ktrt that i've already got and that's he looks very, I think he looks very similar to this guy. Now this is King Guys. Now King Guys is from, and I've got some notes here. King Guys is from uh, is from season three. That's the 2016 season. Now I've recently done a thing whereby I've gone over the, because uh, Hello Carbots has been around since 2014, that's when season one happened, and, and this is 2019, we've got season seven, not to mention a couple of spin-off se series are going, so you know, the Hello Carbot toy line is going strong, even if the toys they're making for the new toy line are absolute garbage, or <laughs> they look completely rubbish, and I doubt if I'll be picking any of them up. Um, that's besides the point. Um, I've been thinking about doing a video where I'm going to go over, sort of declassify or decode Hello Carbots for those who, who aren't in the know. Um, go through the various years and seasons and characters that came out in various waves and and just go over stuff like that. I, it's, it's an idea for a video that I've uh, I've come up with. I might do it as a chew in the fat or something. But anyway, so I've gone through and I've worked out what figures came out in what year and, and what season and uh, yeah, King Guys, he came out in uh, season three and uh, he's quite an unusual character in that he's, he's a quadruple changer. Um, he's got uh, three beast modes and a robot mode and he's also a car bot from the future because when Chatan summons him, he sort of comes comes from a portal down into, from the sky, you know, like um, uh, vertically instead of the more usual horizontal portals which come from the side and uh, I think he introduced himself to Chatan as a as a, 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 a car bot from the future and uh, you know he has various adventures with him in season three now in season five um, the, this new character turns up and when he turns up well actually um, I like I said I fought this new character because he's he looks very similar and he has a very similar sounding name now his name is King Dizer. 
Now this this guy is called King Guys, and the new guy is called King Dizer. And I thought you know he was the same character. You know he had um, you know like Transformers can change their their shape by scanning a different alt mode. Well, I thought that was a similar sort of thing with these guys. I thought it was the same character but two different versions of it. Oh, how wrong I was! Because when we get to um, his uh, debut episode, which is episode twenty-seven of season five, if I remember I'll put a link to it down in the, in the uh, you know, the the, uh, the description section on this video. And uh, yeah, so King Guys comes down first, and then he speaks to Chatan, and he says something about, "Oh, there's this other guy you, you got you got to meet." And then another portal comes down, and then we get this guy, King Dizer. So, like I said. When you put the two side by side, it's easy to see why, you know, I'd think that they're similar characters because they've got a similar sort of, well, same sort of colour scheme. They've got like the uh, the sort of like the dark grey, uh, the yellow and the uh, the red. And uh, slightly similar aesthetic, I think. But um, this is the subject of today's review. And his name is uh, King Dizer. Now, he's a triple changer. He has uh, two beast modes and a robot mode. And this is his robot mode. And uh, while we're in robot mode, we'll uh, go over it quickly. Um, quick size comparison. He's quite big, actually. Uh, there he is next to Combiner Wars Megs. And as you can see, he's, he's a little, quite a bit taller than uh, Megs. And he's, he's a bit wider, but he's not particularly thick. He's quite quite thin, as you can see. Uh, he's got a little bit of parts forming as well. He's got these um, these sort of wing pieces that plug onto his legs, which will come into uh, to play a bit later. So here he is in his robot mode. Um, very nice, very you know interesting looking robot mode. He's almost got like a almost like an Aztec motif with all these sort of uh, you know sort of jaggedy bits on his arms and his shoulders. So he looks kind of cool. Um, obviously, he's got this massive great headdress as well, and um, because of the way he transforms, um, his articulation is a bit weird. Um, for start off with, uh, his head doesn't move. Um, these bits sort of move, but they only move together to form you know, one of the alt modes. Uh, shoulders uh, are on a butterfly joint that goes back. They go around like that. Now, he's got no um, bicep swivels, and his arms are on these unusual sort of crooked joints for one of the other alt modes. Now, he does have an elbow, but you know, they sort of go sideways. Sideways elbow action. Um, he has got a wrist rotation. But uh, he doesn't come with a weapon, so <laughs> he can't really make use of it. Even though it's got it's got like a peg in it, which I'm sure. Let's just get Meg's gun. I'm sure it's a five mil peg. And yes, it is. So he can a bit loose, but he can hold a five mil pegged weapon. Um, yeah. So shoulder, shoulder, elbow. Yeah, that's a bit weird. <laughs> uh, and then he's got a wrist there. So uh, then you get onto the hips. Beautiful spread, as Jobby the Hong would say. Um, now, his legs are kind of weird because they're sort of split into two. He's got like like these narrow legs and then he's got these wide legs. I mean, if I... And now, they go back oh, quite far, as you can see. Um, he has got fire swivels, because, you know, Hello Carbot toys generally come with fire swivels. Um, and uh, hasn't really got anything on the feet. Now, you can unclip those and sort of kick them out of the way. And give him some, like, little sort of sexy, like, narrow legs. Or alternatively, you can go the other way around. Flip them up. And give him some bandy, <laughs> chunky legs. But uh, no, he's supposed to have his legs combined together in the robot mode. Hang on. Just some little bits you have to tag in on the feet. There we go. Right, so that's the robot mode really quick. Um, it's very chunky. Like you said, it's got you know lots of nice loud ratchets as as hello carbots figures do um there's not much more you can say about it really it's it's bright it's colorful it's got an interesting aesthetic limited articulation due to engineering but um yeah that's the robot mode 
Now, this guy has uh, two uh, beast modes, and we'll go into the first one. Uh, I'm not going to tell you what it is, I'll just do it. Uh, it's, it involves a little bit of parts for me, well they both do, so you take these things off to start with. Then you take the arms, you fold them back, and then you bring the arms round like that, and then you fold these bits, the, the fists round. And you get these two, well, you get these two bits and fold them down. And then these red pieces, you straighten them up and then you fold them up. And there's a piece on the back which you flip up and then they, there's a, um, there's some pegs in here and some clips under here. You clip these two red pieces together and then you plug it into the back like to sort of bend the hips up a bit. Um, There we go. Then put that down. And then you just sort of bend the back legs like that. And then your final touch, get these pieces and then there's these little pegs here. So you plug one in there and one in there. And there we have King Dizer in his mammoth or elephant mode. And uh, yeah, his pachyderm. Um, yeah, it's uh, quite an interesting mode. He's got these massive ears. Um, the trunk doesn't move, unfortunately, and a lot of the poses on the box. I mean, show the box briefly. It has a, it has his elephant mode with the the trunk sticking up. So if they'd have put a like a ball joint on the trunk, you could have turned it round and have it sticking up, or they put some articulation joints in the trunk. You know, you could have had an uh, uh, an articulated proboscis. Um, <laughs> Now you go on the back also, um, this guy combines with another figure called Armour Force and he's like a, a, a green and yellow sort of military guy, he has a helicopter mode and a tank mode and he splits up and can form extra sort of add-on pieces for King Dizer to make him a bit bigger. A lot of the figures from the Hello Carbot line in Season 5 had some sort of combining gimmick and Season 5 was unusual in that it's... It ran for 52 episodes instead of 26 episodes, and they had about at least three, possibly four waves of figures released throughout the run of that season. And this guy is from one of those waves. So, yeah, here he is in his uh, elephant mode. Um, articulation, nothing on the head, uh, nothing on the ears. Um, the legs, you can move these bits back and forward. You can move those bits back and forward, and you can sort of move those and a little bit of tilt on the toe. Bit restricted, it's unusual the way the joints work on the front legs. The back legs go out like that, move backwards and forwards, and you've got a, like a backwards knee which goes backwards. So, like I said, a bit unusual, but interesting alt mode nevertheless. It look, looks pretty cool, like nice colours. Again, because of all these sort of you no know, sort of angles and, and sort of you know jaggedy bits, kind of got almost like an Aztec style aesthetic, which is quite interesting. So, uh, one more mode to go, kind of. Um, so, again, you pull these off. These these are just parts forming pieces. Now, this red piece on the back, you flip that up and pull pull that out. You then bring these forward, and then you sort of straighten out the feet. like so. Now, the uh, the back legs, something weird happens with the back legs, right, so you, you kind of pull them back, you then pull them out with these unusual things, then you've got a claw that comes out of each foot piece, and then you sort of 
bring them round and sort of dangle them out the back like that. And then finally, you get the uh, these wing pieces, you open them out, and then you've got two pegs on there. Now you've got some uh, pegs up here where you can peg them in. And there we have King Dizer in his dragon mode. Uh, yeah, now this one takes a little bit of a leap of imagination, um, especially with the, the back legs. They're uh, kind of weird. You can sort of... mess around with them a little bit. Um, the elephant trunk becomes a tail. Um, it doesn't have an opening mouth, unfortunately. It does have a little bit of articulation on the head there. Um, you can sort of angle that down or up a little bit. Um, obviously, the neck's got that very loud ratchet. Uh, you've got the universal joints there. You've got the elbow there. And you can kind of you know, close the claws up. Uh, the wings don't move. They, they can sort of have them sort of flapped down like that a little bit, but they don't really move. And then you've got the back legs. You've got that joint, that joint, that joint. Um, you're kind of supposed to, I think you're supposed to, um, I'm not sure which way, it doesn't really matter which way around you have these things really. Um, yeah. So yeah, it's got some unusual modes, um, <laughs> unusual alt modes. I mean, I like my dragon formers, but this one is, it's a bit weird looking. Um, he looks a bit more fluid in the show when he transforms into his dragon mode. Um, but, um, yeah, the toy, <laughs> uh, it's, it, it's really weird. Um, but no, I appreciate the fact that they got, um, a third mode out of it. So, uh, yeah, he's, a uh, I mean, King Guys has got four modes, this guy's got three. But actually, um, in messing around with this guy, I reckon I've got a fourth mode out of him. So, let's uh, see if I can get into that. Now, you basically flip this over. Oh no, no, you go the other way. No, you go this way, that's it. Um, fold the dragon claws up. Right, now you open the trunk up like so. And then you sort of straighten the back legs out. Actually, now you fold that underneath. And I think that looks like a bull. So I'm calling this King Dizer's bull mode. Because these kind of look like, you know, sort of long horns for a long horned bull. You've got the eyes here. This is the mouth. These are the front legs and these are the back legs. And I, I think that, that, that looks a bit more convincing. It's more convincing as a bull <laughs> than the dragon mode is more con than the dragon mode is convincing as a dragon. So yeah, that's a fan mode. So yeah, I've come up with a fourth mode for King Guy so that he uh, can keep up with uh, well, uh, King Guys. Sorry, so he can keep up with King Guys and his uh, five modes. Um, obviously, got to do something with the parts for me pieces. Uh, I decided I think they looked good on the uh, on the back legs. like that <laughs> so yeah there's his um king guys i mean king dizer sorry uh king dizer's uh fan made bull mode 
so yeah so yeah he's, he's, he's quite an interesting figure to mess around with um he's got quite a few joints um oh yeah let me bring that down split that bring those round plug that into there plug that into there and then just plug those bits onto there so yeah he's um, quite interesting to uh, to mess around with he's bright he's colorful um, he's got an interesting design aesthetic he's got three official modes and as you've seen one one fan one so you can argue he's got four modes or even three uh, it's up to you uh, he's all right um, I quite like him um, to compare him with King guys um, King Guys has definitely has four modes, and um, to be honest, you know his two at least two of his modes are a bit a bit meh. The uh, eagle mode and the lion mode, you know, it's like really is it? The shark mode's pretty good, um, and his robot mode's pretty awesome as well. Now, build quality wise, this guy um, this guy feels I don't know, he feels a little more solid than um, this guy. And an interesting thing before I sign off, um, original Hello Carbot toys are made by Sonocon, uh, but the uh, the company that makes the Hello Carbot TV show is called Choir Rock, Choir Rock Contents Factory. Now in more recent times, um, Choir Rock have taken over the design, engineering and production of the toys. And this guy, if you look in the corner of the box, it's got two logos. It's got the Sonocon and the Choir Rock logo. So this guy is probably halfway house between the two. Because I know the more recent uh, movie uh, Carbot figures I've bought, they're all made by Choir Rock. So, yeah, I, I, I think... I, I, I'm not sure what happened there. Um, whether Choir Rock bought out Sonocon, uh, I don't know. Um... Well, how that works maybe somebody can uh, fill me in in the content in the comments section sorry uh yeah so this guy um hello carbots king dizer he's he's interesting he's um you know he's a thing you know he's bright he's colorful he's got a lot, lot of joints um, he's got some unusual modes but you know he's a, he's a re reasonably decent toy and uh, a decent pickup you know if you're into your hello carbot toys you know he's uh, definitely worth a punt so uh, that's been this review. Um, I'm going to, as soon as I switch off the camera for this review, I'm going to get on and do the review of the other one. So hopefully you've enjoyed this video. Um, now, um, as for the new uh, thumbnail design, like I said, I only did them because they were quick and easy. Um, I didn't have to do the, you know, like three quarters of an hour to an hour, you know, hour and a half, you know, photoshopping to, to get the get the, uh, the the usual one where I have the the different modes of the robots and then all the text on it um so if you like the new you know design for the uh you know the KTRT uh things where I just put a picture of the box and have the text down the side let me know um if you prefer my uh, original and my normal uh, style of uh, thumbnails then you know let me know you know I, I just want to know I mean I only did it this time around or for these two videos because you know because I'm a lazy git and <laughs> I couldn't be bothered to do the normal ones anyway so that's it for this review hope you've enjoyed it I'll catch you all next time ta-da